Remember how I said I was getting wedding stuff? That's why. Ring delivery. <laughs> Keep watching. So, a number of times I have mentioned the Phoenix is delivering rings. So, looks like I have two of these up here, which are not the rings, of course. They're going to go in this cooler, like so. And it'll obviously be shut, but these rings are too big, so it's just, we're going to pretend like that's shut. It says you might recognize this here cooler. Uh, I have the same one in my origin. I've, or what I went and did is I contacted my, I shouldn't say my, but the guy I like to use for, uh, with his 3D printing company, <laughs> Radioactive Scale RC. He does so many cool things. So, like in my other truck, I've got uh, the same cool resist, just different wording on it. They all usually say camel on them. And then he can do custom uh, sand ladders. So obviously I have Blind Guy RC on there. Make sure that's the right way up. Yep. And these little clips, uh, he actually sent me some new clips. So when I get into this a little bit more here, there was another package of them, but I've already opened those up so I could get them on here. But all you do is just I'll try and do it better on the camera. So they're just doing that. So you'll see that they're kind of, they have a little lip there. So they clip over onto the side of the little divots into the side of the sand ladder. So you just pop them like that. And then your sand ladder just pops right up. And then you can actually use them so they're functional which I think is really cool because you know, the more function you can have on your scale truck, especially in a competition standpoint, uh, the better it is. And I'm pretty sure you could probably get away with not having to actually use your sand ladders, but um, I just I like the idea of being able to actually use them if I want to. So I have an unscrew a screw in and you can just pop those clips off and you're done. I probably could have showed it on here. But so that's the your typical custom what most people do, they get their YouTube channel or whatever else on there. He does like first aid boxes and you know every cooler comes with a bag of scale ice. That's right, scale ice. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah. And a bag of bottles. Cola bottles. So, pretty cool stuff. And it actually looks like there's cola in them. So that's awesome. You know, you, you definitely... It's definitely nice having... Um, some extra bottles of cola, say. So, you know, I got all that ordered. Ooh, I think I just showed off something I shouldn't have shown off. They're too early. Uh, I thought I had another bottle of them, or bottles. They're sitting somewhere. Guess that's one there. Nope. I think they might have fallen. I don't need to figure that out. Oh, no, nope, they're right there. Okay, so what I want to also do, so with the coolers, they come with scale ice and extra bottles. Then I went and bought or ordered two packs of extra bottles, thinking I might put them around the truck or dangle them behind the truck. But I'm not 100% sure if that's what I want to do. I don't, I don't quite know yet. 
So that's we're putting that on the back burner. Then I got printed up, just married, in black and white, sand ladders. And these this this is mounted to the back of the truck. And then you'll see probably just take the body off, but you'll see he custom did JK Hearts AS. And then when you open it, same thing inside. Uh, which was super kind of him. He, uh, I thought it was going to be a lot, so I told him not to worry about it. Just do the camel cooler. It's totally fine. And he went and did, and he also has a full-time job. So, you know, the fact that he went and sat down and did all this, um, it's really cool. So then he custom did the, the, in the inside. Like when they when you get it. There. You know, I don't think you have to keep tape on them. I think they do probably stay shut well enough, but I don't trust my driving and I'm always, I don't think they stay shut well enough, so I just put a little tape on each side, holds it down. But this is what that blue cooler would look like. You know, it says camel, open it up, it says camel. Uh, and then you've got your scale ice and cola bottles. Uh, there was more ice in there. It melted. You know, it's just the way it is. It actually fell. Uh, I was being crazy and I dropped a bunch of stuff. So, so, so you know, we've got that. So the trucks... basically set up to do what I want so obviously these rings are not going in there uh, and then what I went and did actually my fiance cut the cut it out just got some of that uh, cotton wrap from like a medical kit <laughs> and just stuff that in there so there's a little something soft in there for the rings to sit on um, don't want to damage those obviously now to mount that in there I was trying to figure out what I could put like some cut some popsicle stick and glue it on from the post to the post and all this stuff and I was like but I want to keep it on there for good so like the truck's always going to have the just married things on there um it's just the theme for the truck trucks this, this truck is literally going to be in my wedding or our wedding so it's you know just it's the whole idea of this truck bluey and bingo in there that's even part because my fiance and I love Bluey, so that's why Bluey and or Bingo and Bluey or Bingo that Bingo and Bandit are in there. Dad and Bingo. Um, so the truck stands. So I wanted to find something a little bit more permanent to put in the back, and I just I could not think of anything. And then all of a sudden, I realized I had a roof rack sitting somewhere that came on the old ten three, which is gone. It's no longer here. Just a moment of silence for you. Anyway, it's going to do a better home. It's going to get a whole new life. It's still alive and well. It's on to the next owner. I had to get pro builds for something else. Don't worry about it. So I found the roof rack and I cut out the mesh. I should have just done that the first time. I cut out the mesh uh, section. There's like a steel mesh section. There. And uh, I fit it. I kind of had to bend it a little bit, but I got it so it's fitted back there. And, you know, I got a spot. I could sit something there, sit something there. I could strap in some, uh, some other scale items that I want to do. You know, I, I have the ability to strap them on there. There's something to put them there. Because the back of the Phoenix is very much like a truggy in a sense. There's no, excuse me, there's no, um, <laughs> there's no, sorry, there's no um, place to really mount anything. So my idea was put something back there that I could use, and that's great. You know, you kind of miss the, you don't get to see the, the bumper sticker there, but that's fine. I have other ones that I can stick somewhere else too. 
but you still see the Vanquish sticker there. You still see the SPG sticker there. Uh, you even still see Blind Guy RC sitting right in there. So it, it all works out. And the whole point to this was the truck's driving along. This is a little higher up, like a little flatter than I would have liked, but as it's driving, you look at it, you see just married. So that's the whole point that I wanted. And I'm very, very happy with what uh, Radioactive Scale RC went and did for me. Especially, like, the quality on these sand ladders is always amazing. And they come with the clips, so I can just clip off and uh, it's going to be a pain to get them back on now, I bet. Point is, I can pop them off if I want to, and use them. So they are functional. Uh, but that's what I mean. That it does pop up and down. So once the wedding's done, um, I will put the pop cans and the ice in there, and I'll put it down. I'll have a couple pieces of duct tape on each side to just hold it down. I don't know why I prefer duct tape, but I don't know. It just it works. Or I could even find a strap of some sort because I could strap something there. So I could do strap, I guess. Keep a little more scale. Um, but yeah, so there's the truck. And of course, uh, I've got the piece out. Um, that's not really for the wedding. That's just the piece out license plates uh, that you can see front and back there. But yeah, so huge thank you. To radioactive scale RC for getting that done um, especially that cooler like just the fact that you did that is so nice um, I'm really really touched <laughs> um, you know just that makes the build right there like that just that's just perfect but then, and every truck or every build comes with his, uh, his, his things here. And don't forget, check out Radio App Scaler C on YouTube and Instagram. So here are the extra, extra clips and there was one extra one that I've already taken one from the other clip is sitting in one of these uh, but it's good to have spares because you break them sometimes if you don't know what you're doing properly and you don't pay attention okay. <laughs> anyway but then to my absolute surprise I'm, I'm like I open the box. I'm expecting a few things, and all of a sudden there's more. So I have RC Athletes 124 scale sand ladders. That's right. He does 124 scale stuff too. So I got the sand ladders. Now I have something to do with RC Athletes. I'm so happy about that. So Lyle, if you're watching, look at that. RC Athletes. Represent. So those will be going on my Betty because it's green and black and it just fits with the Betty because it's got green on it. And then I've got his ones. Um, yeah. Raz RC. <laughs> Radioactive scale RC. Orange. Just all orange. Um, those will go on the 24 scale um, Charisma Pajero, I believe that's what it's called. The one from good old Scale Builders Guild. But then there's more. So then I'm going through and I open it up. He sent me a whole nother cooler. So same thing comes with ice and comes with the ice and that. And I, I got. 
that cooler. So, yeah, by the way, there's a new build coming. A cooler is not going on the comp truck. It's just not going to fit. Because I've got these sand ladders going in the back and it takes up most of the space. It's got scale cans and stuff like that on it. But I have another scale build coming up uh, using a very cool chassis. I'm going to keep it all pretty on the DL. But this cooler is going to go in there. So I'm super stoked to have this cooler. Um, just so stoked about it. Just awesome. And then there's more. Now I'm going to open this one because you already know what the cooler looks like. I don't need to open that bag. I want to keep it in its bag for now. He sends me The camp stove. That's right. So it's got your your propane tank on the side, a working handle. You can hold it by the handle. It's got the leg system on the bottom. Open her up. It's got the grill. And even better, pop the grill out, and it's got the burners. Look at that! Like the the detail that this guy does, and of course there's the uh, the uh, yeah camp chef, I believe that says right inside there. The detail in there. So you think, oh, that's awesome! That's but there's more. So then. You go through this whole bag of stuff, and I'm pretty sure if you don't have the money or you're short on money, I don't. I think you can just get like, you know, possibly just the camp stove, not you know, totally everything else in there. Um, you know, there's. I, I don't see what like I think you can get the cooler without the ice and stuff, if you want it. But uh, and it's not that much more money to get the ice and the coke bottles. But then. I have now a whole extra six pack of propane cans. Look at that. All in their little holder. That is so cool. And if you're like, oh, I gotta pull one out. I'm gonna possibly break it. So we're not gonna pull it out because I don't wanna break it. But I'm pretty sure you can actually pull these up because if you look and see, Oh, there we go. So there you go. Yeah, pull it out. Yeah, oh, oh my, 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 my propane can. And it's empty. Oh, I gotta pull another one. Out. Pull it out. There you go. You got a propane can. And then just like just, just the, again the detail. So yeah, they're like, oh, okay, well, that's pretty cool. I got some propane cans. Well, what else do you? Well, hold on. There's more. So the camp stove. You usually need... We're just ripping this one. I don't know if this is a propane kit. I think this is another propane kit. Let me look at this can. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so this is the uh, another propane can that has the proper connector on the top to go into the side of the uh, the the. Um, cooler and I believe yep there's even a hole there so this can actually go into that and I but I don't think you know the other ones are just a uh, scale item so you can just stick them down in there wherever you want and um, you know make it look like you have extra bottles but this is an actual spare bottle that is meant for that cooler or that uh, 
Camp stuff. They're like, oh, that's cool. You can see so you got a whole bunch. That, that, that's cool. You know. There's more. So then, you know, every every camp stove needs a cast iron pan. And uh, I think he has something written in there, and I can't see what it is. Because blind guy or see. I don't know if I'm going to be able to tell you what's in here. I think it says... Yeah, Ram's RC. Right away after RC. RC. So, you've got a cast iron pan. Right? That's pretty cool. So you can put your cast iron pan on there. And you can pretend like you're going to cook something. But wait, the pan comes with... Three fried eggs, sunny side up, you know, stick it in the pan, boom. You're frying yourself some eggs. Look at that. Get that on the old camp stove, you know. Don't overdo those eggs. All this stuff that I'm showing, so this cooler, this sand ladder, this sand ladder, the extra two things, uh, well, actually, technically, the, the, even the other one, the, the three things of um, extra clips for the, sand, for the sand ladders, the big, the proper tent scale sand ladders. And these I, yeah, these I actually paid for. So... Boom. Boom. So, out of the kindness of his heart, we got a we got a camp stove with extra bottle with six other extra bottles. So we got one extra bottle with the connector piece go into the the camp stove. Six bottles for scale appearance. A whole other camel cooler with bottles and fake ice. Three things of clips, just two are sitting there, and two 24 scale sand letters. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I highly recommend you going and checking this guy out. Uh, I can't say he ships everywhere in the world, but never hurts to ask depending where you are contact him again go to radioactive scale rc on instagram send him a dm get yourself some custom sand ladders get yourself a cooler he has a list of things chainsaws generators toolboxes if you're doing a whole scale garage he has everything to do up for your garage so go give him a look and Get yourself some really cool stuff. If you're into the 24 scale, he's got a bunch of stuff for that. But as you can see, the stuff just looks so good. Like, I don't know what the whole size difference would be, what is considered proper and right. These actually came on the Origin when I bought the Origin. And I kept them because they're a usable sand ladder. They're obviously, never mind. They're the exact same size. Not even gonna bring that up anymore. So don't worry about that. They might not look as scale in a sense, but you know what? I think they're even cooler. They do exactly what they're supposed to. They create grip everywhere. He's designed them so if like you look along there you see where the tires can grab. It's flat on this side. That might, you know, it, it might not help in a full on situation, but you look at this side, they don't do anything either. So 
I'm pretty sure it doesn't make a difference, but one nice touch to have with your truck is getting radio <laughs> getting radioactive scale RC to uh, make you custom sand ladders. That's the first step for a truck. Then go ahead and get yourself a cooler and just go down the rabbit hole of buying everything else. He even does the little, I haven't, I have yet to get a set, I need to get some, but he does the milk crates. So you can get all your scale bottles in. So you've got, you know, like I have, I have all these bottles. So there's like a Castrol GTX bottle, basically. Uh, you've got your Royal Purple bottle, basically. I've shown these in another video. But you have all these other bottles, you know, you've got your, your antifreeze bottle, whatever you want to call for that one. Um, I'm just using, this is actually Lego, but it fits the, the look I'm looking for. Uh, I have some bottles up in that truck, the comp truck. But he makes the milk crates, tall, short, wide, whatever, to put your bottles into. And I think he even has big propane tanks that you can put in the milk crate. So, so much cool stuff from this guy. Go give him a look. Again, Instagram, send him a DM, and uh, just have a great time. And by the way, if you want it ready, glue it on, just put some glue right onto that grill so that pan's on there. And so when you can open, when you open it up, it's all done. Yeah, again, I'll put some tape on each side just to hold it down. But then, actually, yeah, I don't think that's supposed to do that. No. Oops. I gotta pop that back on. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll definitely get some uh, tape to put on each side. Wherever that handle went, it popped out. There it is. It's not. There it is. And the handle just clips back on just like that. So I can show you. It is just fine. Not break anything on camera. Do not worry. Because I did a little bit there. <clears throat> there we go. So again, last time, huge thank you, Radar Scale RC. Um, I'm so excited to, to just show this truck off at the wedding. Um, I've put a lot of my time into this truck. Yes, I've done the same with a lot of my, from almost all of my trucks, I've done the same. Some kind of went together really fast. Uh, lately, it's been building the comp truck. I've never done that, so I've kind of gone really deep into that one. But I spent a lot of time making sure the Phoenix just looked nice. Uh, I didn't cover the whole thing in stickers. I just wanted, uh, if you watch uh, Ultimate Adventure, I can't remember, I think it's 2014, 2015, went around there. Uh... Fred Williams, Dirt Every Day, or at least was Dirt Every Day. Uh, he's a YouTube channel. But he did a big tug truck. It was like a big Dodge. And the whole back of the bed on each side was done up with the sponsor stickers. So I kind of wanted the same thing here. All these stickers are parts that I have on here or a company I'm like, hey, you know what? You're cool. I'll represent you. So like, even though I've never been to Extreme Hobbies before, their stickers on there. They do a lot for the West Coast Dale truck. Let's go scale trailer. But Pitbull Tires got Pitbull Tires. Castle Creations. That's what's in there. I think Hobby Wings even on here somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. But Pro Builds. It's got Pro Builds, right? So everything on the back is the sponsors. And that's kind of how I wanted the look of the truck. I could have gone with uh, your typical black or chrome rims. Wanted something a little different, so I went with green in the inside. 
just something a little different. Green and bronze rims. Uh, tried really hard to do because I didn't paint that body. I didn't paint the origin body. I haven't painted a number of bodies, and the, any of the bodies I painted, it's just like spray some black, spray some red, or just all blue or whatever, right? Like I haven't gone too crazy, but with this one, and with the help of my fiance, uh, I masked off like the roof, the section of the hood here, the fenders, I think the back, and tried to do, you know, a bit of a two-tone color. Now it has taken a couple tumbles because I did take this out, so there's a few scratches on it, and you know I screwed up a couple spots with the painting, but um, you know it's just the way it is, and I need to stop sanding the inside of the body before I paint it. That seems to work the best for me, but I should really stop doing that because you do see it quite a bit, especially depending on what color you use. Um, so, you know, the next one I'll try washing it <laughs> and then um, giving it a, some coats of paint. But I'm so happy with the way this truck turned out. I cannot wait to show it off at the wedding. Um, even just to have it after, because after, this is actually driving, my best man is driving this truck up up the aisle to uh, pull out the rings and hand them to me to for us to do the whole ring thing. So afterwards to just keep the, the cooler open, I'll even bring my little stand here and just have it so it's sitting there just to show it off. I just, I'm, I'm so excited about this. And uh, you know, Radioactive Scale RC made it just that much cooler. Because originally it was going to be like a wooden box that's like over here, which I broke. Thinking, oh, I'll use the the bottom wooden thing. It didn't work out that well. But this was originally going to be on there, and I just felt like it was too big. It didn't fit the scale of it or anything, and you know, it's whatever. This is cool. It fits the scale. It's just custom done. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm just going to keep rambling on here. So just, just do me a solid and go check them out. <laughs> and uh, I got lots more to come. So uh, I springs for the shocks will be on the way. That'll be another video. So that'll be um, another part of that series. And I've got other things coming to, like I mentioned, pro builds to be part of other stuff that's coming to go on the origin. So, got some really cool stuff coming. This was one of those really cool things that I didn't expect to have extra awesome things in it. So, stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.